with Adrian Brody. You've been doing this since you were really young. When, how old were you when you did your first professional acting job? I was, uh, I was, I was getting jumped going to do the off-Broadway, uh, taking the train from junior high school um, in, oh, the, wow. in the East Village. Wow. Um, and what, what, what did you see? Like, what was the first sort of but I did performance you saw that uh, you went like, oh, I want to do that? What was the first thing that inspired yeah, you? You know, um, it's interesting, uh, magic, um, I, I was obsessed with magic, and magic came into my life at a very young age. And, and that, that appreciation for magic, I think especially as a boy, um, it was empowering, you know? I could captivate adults. Um, and what I've realized in thinking back about after, you know, many years of loving, I was a professional magician before I was, before my day job. My, my day job was, I was the amazing Adrian and I would do a birthday party for 50 bucks. And no. I, yes, and I, and I, I had a whole repertoire. Are there photos? Yeah. My, <laughs> at, at, on a moment's notice, Funny. like if you were oh, yeah. stuck, if you were stuck, could you still, could you still do it? Like I, if I a kid do, was sad, yeah, could you like, I, I'll be your birthday do. clown? Yeah, if I'm if I'm if I'm drinking at a party, you usually get me to do a magic trick. But, uh, we can do it. I can do it. It's fun. But, but I, um, yeah, I realized that magic was the introduction to performance. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you buy a trick, it's a you know it's a box, and you get your little pretty crappy gizmo in that, right? Sure. But and the, a basic breakdown of what how the trick works and some general idea, and it's up to you to be the individual and to make it unique. Mm. And, and that, when you convey that, and, and it evolves, it's like a, a, a performance at a play, you know? You, you do one performance and one bit really worked for someone and you're like, oh, that, that kind of worked and try it again on somebody else and it evolves and it comes different and oh, that, that part didn't work. And, and, you, and that is, I think, opened the door for me to understand my relationship with acting and understanding improvisation and all of that. So I think that fed me a lot. And uh, I have great. a question for you as an actor. When you are performing live, particularly, and an audience is, you don't know how to, for lack of a better word, hook up your jumper cables to the audience, when you don't feel like that connection, what is the temptation to do and what do you have to do to actually make that connection? Is there something that you, some reaction that you have you think is the best one to an audience you feel isn't quite you mean in a live performance? In live performance, yeah. This is the closest thing I've done to a live performance in <laughs> years. I mean, years. I mean, you should probably talk right. about <laughs> yes. But it's, do I got the jumper cables on? Exactly. No, that's right. I just, I, yeah, yeah, just, I, I, I deal with that all the time. <laughs> you do, right? Oh, no, no, because it's subtle, but you want to feel like you're connected to the audience, and there's a, ten there's a tendency to want to muscle an audience. No, I don't want to muscle anybody. You don't do that. You, no, no, you don't do that's that. the temptation. What you have to do is actually relax. The odd be, thing is when there's there a, the odd thing is when there's a disconnect, yeah. right? So this is a very connected space, and they can hear clearly. And it, it's when you do an intro at an award show, for instance. Those and are always wonderful. Aren't they wonderful? <laughs> and it's like half the people are wasted by the time you get up, and you sure. got two seconds. They've written something for you to say, and then. You might think it's funny, or the, the writer thinks it's funny, and you have to make it funny, and nobody's paying any attention. And you don't hear it, and they don't hear you, and they don't see, and it's, it's this void, and that's awful. And then you really don't have any interaction, so. Mm -hmm. Next time, just do a magic trick when you go out there, just. Yeah, you go, and, <laughs> and the winner is. <laughs> Here, hold this for a second. Uh... <laughs> I really, I, I f***ed up because th th those are his notes and he won't know who to introduce next. And... We have to take a quick break, uh, but stick around. When we come back, I will ask Adrian about his recent role as Josh Aronson in Succession.